Air quality at the Port of LA has improved dramatically over the past 10 years, but it's not stopping there. Gil Reyes reports on challenges that lie ahead at the nation's busiest port. The port complex today remains the single largest source of air pollution in Southern California. Port of Los Angeles Councilman Joe Buscaino lays out the cold hard facts at the Port of LA's Clean Air Conference, but of course not all the news is bad. Over the past decade, we have come a long way as an industry in addressing the challenges and solutions regarding air pollution created by port operations. The conference with port representatives from around the world was about sharing best practices. One launched 10 years ago was the port's clean trucks plan, replacing old dirty port trucks with cleaner burning ones. Port officials say it's resulted in a 90% drop in diesel emissions. Another plan, agreed to by the ports of L.A. and Long Beach last year, is to go totally gas-free by the year 2035. We'll continue to advance green technologies at our port complexes, both here in Los Angeles and in Long Beach. We thank you for your continued commitment to social, economic, and environmental benefits of trade. Our economies definitely must grow. But must also do so in a green way. At the Port of Los Angeles, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. An estimated one in nine jobs in our region are linked to operations at the ports of LA and Long Beach.